Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 19 and in this video I just wanted to go through a practical example of when we'd use a loop in JavaScript. Alright then guys, so as you can see I'm back in the index file right here and I've got some links numbered from 0 to 5 there. Now I've started 0 because Normally JavaScript is a zero based language, meaning that when we use arrays or index variables, as we've seen in loops, we often start at zero. So I thought it makes sense to start at zero for these links as well. So what I want to do is show you an example of how loops in JavaScript can cycle through elements on your web page and change them in the HTML. All right, so let's jump over to this test.js file, which is already linked up. And I don't want you to pay too much attention to the code that I write here. I'm um, just showing you how loops can work with a web page. We're going to cover all of this extra code later in this playlist. So let's start off with a variable called links, and this is going to be our array, which is going to hold all of the anchor tags on the page. So we'll use the get element by tag name to do that, and we're going to go after our a tags. So that is going to store all the anchor links in an array for us. And again, don't worry about arrays yet. I'm going to cover those later. Now we'll do our for loop. And the components we need, remember, are the initializer, the index uh, variable, and we'll set that to be i equals zero. Then we want the loop to continue for as long as i is less than links dot length. So that means that for as long as i is less than the number of links on the page, we'll continue to do this. So then it'll catch all of the links. And then finally, we want to increment i by 1 each time around. All right, so let's do the code block then. So each time around, we have i as a specific number. It starts off 0, then 1, then 2, then 3. Now, we can use that number to grab hold of a specific link in this array. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll say links, which is the array, and then we want the ith number of that uh, array. So we'll start off at zero. That would the first time around be zero, the second time around be one, then two, etc. So each time i is going at one. And that's going to get us the first, then the second, then the third link, etc. And each time we iterate through this loop, we want to do something to those links or that link. And we're going to give it a class name each time. So we're going to give the class name to be link hyphen, then we're going to concatenate whatever i is. So that will be link 0, then link 1, then link 2, etc. going through. And again, don't worry too much about this code here and this code here. I'm going to show you all of this later in the playlist. This is just an example of how we can use loops, okay? So let's save that off and refresh over here. And as you can see now, it's looped through each link in the HTML document and it's given one uh, each sorry, each anchor tag, a class of link zero, then link one, then link two, and that's this bit right here. So we've uh, achieved what we set out to do. So that's how we can use loops to cycle through elements on a page and do things with them. And this is just one of many different things we can do with those things. If we wanted to, we could animate those uh, links or change the style properties. Whatever you want to do, you can do that. So I hope this has made sense. Uh, just wanted to give you an example of where we'd use loops and if you have any questions about this whatsoever, feel free to comment down below. I'll answer all of those. Otherwise, if you enjoy these videos, please like, share or subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.